Come, come, my conservative friend, wipe the dew off your spectacles, and see that the world is moving. To throw obstacles in the way of a complete education is like putting out the eyes. Think of the inconvenience of vanishing as it were from your friends and correspondence three times in one's natural life. Nothing strengthens the judgment and quickens the conscience like individual responsibility. I thought that the chief thing to be done in order to equal boys was to be learned and courageous. So I decided to study Greek and learn to manage a horse. Woman's discontent increases in exact proportion to her development. I am always busy, which is perhaps the chief reason why I am always well. With age come the inner, the higher life. Who would be forever young, to dwell always in externals. In youth our most bitter disappointments, our brightest hopes and ambitions, are known only to ourselves. Love is the vital essence that pervades and permeates, from the center to the circumference, the graduating circles of all thought and action. The happiest people I have known have been those who gave themselves no concern about their own souls, but did their uttermost to mitigate the miseries of others. The great lesson that nature seems to teach us at all ages is self-dependence, self-protection, self-support. The desire to please those we admire and respect often cripples conscience. The prolonged slavery of women is the darkest page in human history. The ballot is the scepter of power in the hands of every citizen. Woman can never have an equal chance with man in the struggle of life until she too wields this power. When we consider that women are treated as property it is degrading to women that we should treat our children as property to be disposed of as we see fit. Whatever oppressions man has suffered, they have invariably fallen more heavily on woman. It has taken the whole power of the civil and canon law to hold woman in the subordinate position which it is said she willingly accepts. They who say that women do not desire the right of suffrage, that they prefer masculine domination to self-government, falsify every page of history, every fact in human experience. The primal work in every country, for its own safety, should be the education and freedom of woman.